welcome to Divine Bow Beginnings 93. Oh, what's up, DBB93 squad? I want to say thank you to all our new subscribers for subscribing to the channel, as well as our returning subscribers for coming back. And to everyone that is watching the video that are not subscribed to the channel, welcome you guys. This reading is for our beautiful Capricorns, and this is your May monthly. So in this video, make sure you take what resonates and let what doesn't fly bye-bye. Also, if you're looking to follow me on other social media platforms, all that information will be in the description box down below. So without further ado, let's get into your reading. So the energy here, you guys, is harmonious connections coming together. Um, I feel like you are achieving so many heights at this moment like it's I don't know it's undescribable you may feel like you don't have words to put towards what's going on but you know like the best is yet to come or you are currently about to enter the best right so I feel like it's gonna be rewards for you healing these blockages you were going through or like healing past energy wounds and childhood wounds. It's something here about a connection that's very significant to you. And I feel like for some of you, you really want to take things in a different direction. You want to um you want to bring things together, but you feel like you're on top of your game to make a solid offer towards something or if this is not you this is someone that's coming into your energy I feel like at this moment you know you are starting to see yourself in a better light you're starting to see yourself as you know this king these kings and queens you know um and I feel like for some of you it's been a while since you actually put yourself on a pedestal or you actually gave yourself the worth that you deserve you know I feel like it's taking time to get here and that's why you are so ready for this new beginning because you like I sat in my solitude I sat back and I let things happen but I let them happen for the best so I could see what you know I wanted to really do in my life as far as like the people around you and as far as like healing relationships and seeing like I don't know I feel like it's it's this growth of setting clear-cut boundaries but knowing the roles you played in connections if that makes sense I feel like for some of you you're going through a period of reflection so that's why after this period of reflection you'll come out on the other side into making solid offers within your life if it could be work it could be a relationship but I just feel like it's just coming into stable grounds and having peace so I want to speak on the colors of these cards that are out here before I get into the full reading you have green which is your heart chakra I feel like at this moment you are flowing with a lot of energy and love and emotions and these emotions sometimes when we flow through emotions they're not tamed but I feel like you have tamed and fully decided what you want in life um and who who you want right um for some of you if you don't know who this person is you have an idea of what kind of relationships you want to go into or what what you want to give your energy towards right and I, I just feel like this energy is more about having confidence in what you want to go after because for some of you I feel like maybe you you may feel as though someone's not all the way in as you are but I feel like it's a communication barrier there where things need to be spoken and I think the only reason why you may have felt that way is because you were heal you needed to heal those wounds and as you heal those wounds you see like this person is truly either your soulmate or twin flame which I'm feeling is more of a soulmate here than anything but you know whichever way you guys take it that's you know for you 
So we do have orange, and orange is the sacral chakra. This is your creativity. So I've, I feel like this is bringing things into your life in a way of, I think the best way for you is to say things are not boring. You like a little adventure. You like to be out and about. And I feel like with that being said, like you're making plans to make your life I don't know I want to say colorful more colorful because I see like a rainbow and it's giving me like the like just look at the colors it's beautiful and I feel like for some of you like this is what you feel like you've been missing or which what's been lacking in your life you could have been all about work and it, it was for a good reason to make a stable foundation for you in the future but I feel like now you're at this moment where you like yeah it is all about work but somewhere you want to be able to take a break and like share this share what you have acquired with someone else so we do have pink and for pink that's to me is giving off the base chakra which is your trust now you only have one pink card but the trust here you have the ace so this is like the holy grail. This is, to me, like, in a way of saying, like, the Ace of Pentacles or Ace of Cups. I see actually both of them. So you're able to balance out um, the material aspects of life and your emotional side of life. I feel like with you, it's more about you coming to this point of being able to give. Being able to feel as though you're worthy enough to go into a connection where you're able to provide, okay? Because I feel like in the past, for some of you, you may have felt like, you know, your providing skills or what you needed to provide was not there. Or, you know, whoever you were dealing with, it wasn't an equal. You felt like you were doing more of the work. But now I feel like you, you are going into this energy of gratitude for what you have achieved so as you are going into gratitude that's when the windfall continues to come for you and I feel like this is that realizing like you can have it all you don't have to sacrifice and I feel like in other relationships you may have had to sacrifice certain things where when you felt like you sacrificed something, you felt like you was losing a part of yourself, but you didn't know how to explain that to your partner. So I feel like now you come in with this communication of being able to explain, being able to say, okay, yeah, I do want to sacrifice. I do want to compromise. But at the same token, like, I want to make sure I'm happy, which is a key thing. So you have here blue. Blue is the throat chakra. And this is the communication this is you dreaming and bringing things into reality. I feel like with your communication skills that you really, I feel like, I don't know, I just see somebody working. So I would say that you are building them up, um, building your communication skills. I feel like with you, this communication is part of using logic here, using um logic to say like which direction do I want to go in or to say you know what's the best for me and it's not so much as saying like you're not thinking of anyone else but I feel like a lot of the times you go after what's best for others for some of you and then for others of you you go after what's best for you but now you have to include someone else into your plans here so this is that you know the blue is speaking how you feel. And I feel like this is where the compromise come in again, okay? So we go into the Ten of Raphael. You have here... Oh, and I said a rainbow. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. I wasn't even looking at the card. That's funny. Okay. Um, You have here love and blessings fill your life. Harmonious relationships with family members. Happy ever after. So I feel like for some of you, this is a rekindling of a relationship here. This is a, you know, um, a connection that could have been going on for lifetimes. But I feel like this is, uh, it, uh, okay, 
you and your partner could have separated. You could have children with this partner. Like, you will know this person as someone who, you know, the situation at the time, it just didn't work out. But now things are better, okay? Um, and if it's not complete separation, it's like you felt disconnected from this connection because you feel like you haven't been able to provide or the other person feels as though they haven't been able to provide. But also the tender Raphael for some of you is someone that comes in and they want to build this family life with you. They want to have it all. Um, it's something here about a special occasion that's going to really be prominent. I feel like when it comes to the situation, you both are root. Like, it's something about roots here. Because this tree is giving me, like, you have fir a firm foundation in with the roots of this connection. So, it's not just something that's, like, a fling, a off and on fling. It's something that's really solid. And you know, like, with this person, it will be solid. It's just that I feel like at the time when things tried to work out, it was, it just wasn't the right time. But now it's like you both see fit that it's the perfect time to go into this connection. So you have here the two of Raphael. Two hearts deciding to, wait, decided to creating something wonderful. Kind spirits. Don't give up on those you love. So, again, I feel like, I don't know, it's something that happened here where it was, I feel like it's just a disagreement. I'm not going to really fully dive into, like, if it was an argument or anything, unless it comes out in the next few cards. But um, I feel like it was just a disagreement. Like, two, two individuals who had two different point of views of things, and there was no communication that was had where you both was working from like a broken heart and instead of you know having to be together to heal that you had to separate so it could be from what's going on that you had to separate you couldn't be around each other um and that's where you started to really grow this connection even more um it's something about um bond bondage here so i feel like it's something where the further apart you are, the the tighter your bond is or the stronger your bond is here. Um, this is giving me like telepathic talking. So I feel like when it comes to this connection, that reflection part of your life that you had to go through or that you are going through, it shows you like, you know, this is the person you want to be with for a lifetime. This is the person you wouldn't mind having ch more children with or having children with and grow your children up. So this person mirrors you, this person, they have your soul in their hand as well as you and theirs. We have here the page of Gabriel. So this is um, being brave having energy and staying optimistic and just having fun okay so follow your passion you are ready for any challenge opportunities for excitement and adventure something here is about a destination Either someone you're already married with your partner and they want to have like this destination um, rekindling of your vows. Or it's something here about stop allowing your um, your mind over heart to stop you from pursuing this connection. Go with your go with your gut, go with your heart. Like you're up for any challenge because you you're strong, you're very strong. I feel like when it comes to this situation, it brings you joy to think about this person. It brings, you know, it brings a smile upon your face. So 
with these two being next to each other, it's something here. You could be having to travel to this person or this person to you. That's interesting. That's like the logo for the hospitals, like healing. So this connection is healing as we are speaking or when you watch this video, whoever's watching this video, your connection is healing. You heal each other. Whether you are together side by side or you are apart. It's something here about healing. Someone could have healing hands. Like when they touch you, you feel like either all your worry is gone. Like, I feel like this person knows they have healing hands. They may not discuss it with you or they have for some of you. But I feel like for the majority of you, they have not discussed this with you. And what happens is when they touch you, it helps heal you. Someone could be like doing Reiki. You have here the Ace of Gabriel, a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration. The chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. So I just feel like this is like that spontaneous let's just go let's just you know either it's a road trip or it's let's just go out and do something together it's it's not so much as like having the money or anything it's more of i just want to be around you i want to be with you because whoever this is either the person sees you as a goddess or vice versa okay um but it's this passion igniting like the flame is relit where you could feel each other coming closer and closer and closer. You have here the Ace of Ariel. It's your lucky day. New resources of money, time, or support. A change in job or a promotion. The It's Your Lucky Day part is giving me the time and effort put into this connection you're gonna have more time like i said i feel like in the beginning for some of you you could have all been about work and now you have time to sit back and really relax it's something here about time it could be like divine timing but i, I don't feel like that's what it is i just feel like the timing is right something about time here you and this person could be in different time zones so you got to get the time just right, the timing just right. But it's just a, a inflow of abundance for you. I feel like for someone through this pandemic, your boss has seen how much you have stepped up to the plate. Okay. You're going to be getting a promotion. Like you're going to change job titles. And it's, I mean, it's very lucrative for you. You have here the Seven of Michael. So the Seven of Michael says, There is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. So this is that crossroad that I felt. It's like, you could go around a mountain, but I feel like for some of you, you choose to hike the mountain. Which is you You choose to go through rough situations or you have chosen in your soul contract to do this. So you can come out on a better end of things. And the divine is saying this is all a part of the plan. Okay. Um, I feel like whoever this person is for you, they bring, they come in and they level you out. They bring you into this state of calm. Because the, the road you're traveling down, I feel like it's a little bumpy. It could have you emotionally stricken. It's something here about, even though that's the seven, I feel like it's kind of like taking a leap of faith too. Into what you want to go into. You have here the sun. So it's a taking a leap of faith into a new beginning. It's it's this energy of like feeling naked. I haven't said that in so long. It's the energy of 
it's a new day. It's, it's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's it's a brighter day for you. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You have the Ace of Wands. Again, a lot of aces are here. So it's a lot of new starts in action, in love, and in communication. You have the Six of Swords and the Ace of Cups again. I, I Yeah, again. You have the Ace of Cups again. So for some of you I feel like this is this is more of oh okay yeah the king of coins and here we go I said it the fool taking a leap of faith so what's going on here is action is ready the um the path for you is clear I feel like before the path for you 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 quite didn't know where you wanted to take it and how you wanted to go but now you're like I have an idea and whatever I see fit, you know, whatever I manifest will come about. So it's kind of like the energy here is like the using your powers for good, using your gifts for good. I feel like when it comes to the Ace of Cups with the King of Coins, this is, you know, it's something to hear about a nest egg. Like you got a nest egg waiting for you. Like you got a rain, like a pour of... Look at that. See how it's shining down on him? That's what I feel when I say, like, you have an abundant pour falling upon you. In love, in money, I mean, in spirit. Like, everything here involves you to take a leap of faith. And I feel like you're ready to, like, hey, it is what it is. I'm going after it, regardless of how I feel. I mean, regardless of you know, not how I feel. Uh, what was I about to say? Jeez, I just threw myself off. Regardless of um, what you can't see beyond the end of the tunnel. There you go. Because you are moving, like, see, the Six of Swords normally is like moving into calmer waters, but I already feel like you're in calmer waters. You know, and if it's a little rocky right now, it, it's going to clear up pretty soon, like really fast. Because even this Ace of Cups is a flow stream and it's very calm waters here i feel like you already in calmer waters i don't feel like it's rocky for you i feel like the six of swords for you is travel and then with the magician this is <laughs> for some of you this is that i say it it appears like it, it's kind of blowing your mind that it's appearing in that way but it's like it's meant to happen that way for some of you. But also the magician is... I just feel like it's balance. Balancing out all the elements. Balancing how you indulge in this. How you indulge in that. I, I feel like when it comes to the magician next to the fool. Like on your journey you have everything you need to survive. To go forward you know. And... Especially with the Six of Swords being here, it's like, I feel like for some of you, you have really shut the door to your past completely. And you should be proud, like, because I feel like you already proud, though. Um, but I feel like, with that being said, it's just like, this is a new break for you. You do have the Ten of Coins, so that is... That is the family life again. Ten of cups, ten of coins. Boom, boom. I feel like for some of you, what is that? The queen of swords. Okay. So I feel like for some of you, it's about your legacy that you want to live on. Okay. And I feel like that's what, that's why you've working. That's why you're working so hard and you were working so hard. Under this is the Queen of Swords. So, and the Two of Pentacles. Okay. So, whoever you're going towards, or if it's you, depending on where you're at, you have a decision to make. Are you going to go after this? Or are you going to still go on your path? Either way, you know, a beautiful beginning is here for you. But it's about, you know... Which way do you want to go? Which way do you see fit best for you? 
Because either way, the divine is going to bless you. I feel like with the Queen of Swords, it's saying, you know, be happy about what's going on and enjoy it. But at the same time, I feel like for some of you, you still have your guard up just a little bit. Just a little bit, which is normal, okay? So you have your passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Trust. Ooh, this situation is calling for you to have faith. So you could be doubting that this is coming forward. But I, I don't feel like a lot of you are doubting it. I feel like you're more in the energy of getting to that point of completely trusting that this is coming together and this is for you. You have here a true love. So this is the romance of a lifetime. I did see retreat. So someone may, again, want to take you on a little outing and just enjoy the time you spend together. You know, recreate a moment. I feel like it's just all about passion. It's about making your heart flutter. Mm. Releasing your ex. So the time has come to clear your energy. Releasing not just your ex, but I feel like it's about releasing um, past connections with friends. And it could be co-worker. It's something here where you need to release. But it, it could be um, because I just, i seen this. I'm going to take this one. I just pulled and it's let go of control issues. So you could be trying to control the situation. You could be, okay, whoa, that came out. You could be still looking at an ex social media. And it's saying release them. Let them go on and be happy just as well as you are because you're happy in your situation. Well, and you will be even more happier. I think you just, if you are doing that, you're just um, looking just to see, like, how much your ex life has changed without you in it. And I feel like for some of you, you're just wondering like, were you the cause of why you broke up? And I don't feel like that's the case. I feel like both of you played a part and it just, it wasn't meant to be maybe at that moment or, you know, within this lifetime, because I feel like your ex could have been in your lifetimes years ago and well past lifetimes, but just this lifetime, it maybe just didn't work out the way you thought it would okay or your ex could be someone you have a child with now releasing the energy of it's like negative energy that dwells here when i see this and with that being said like whoever this person is either they don't have children or they have like one or somebody here has two children or they could have like fur babies or it's something about leaving an ex alone and allowing someone else to come in and help you take care of your family so children is affect it, blah, 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 excuse me children is affecting your love life basically and it's because i feel like for some of you you're just very into the fact that i want to make sure my children are taken care of like i don't want to put them through another heartbreak of having someone around and then they leave or you could be old school where you don't like a lot of people around your children. So you really, like I said, the two of pentacles came out from behind the queen of swords. So you could be really contemplating if you really want to really let this person in your life because you don't like a lot of people around your children. Or you don't like your children to get involved with your relationships. But someone here wants to take it to the next level beyond just being a couple. Okay, so let's get some more cards. Let's see. When I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. You have... I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. And then there is a stream of love supporting my dreams. And then your last one... Uh, maybe last two. Okay. <laughs> my outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. Mm, that's deep. That is deep. 
So you have here, thy happiness is a direct reflection of the level of faith in the universe. The trustee come up, believing in the universe. And I feel like these two are tied together. What you're experiencing within, like, the conflict within yourself is ultimately, like, what's going on in your outside world. And you have to find a way to bring happiness into your life. You have to love yourself. You have to explore, okay, and go on this journey of happiness and love. And don't think that you don't deserve it. So, you guys, this is the end of your reading. I hope you enjoyed your reading. And if this reading resonated with you, go ahead and leave a comment. I will be in the comments with you guys. But also, if you haven't given this video a thumbs up, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up for me, please. And make sure your bell notifications are turned on. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next videos. Have a great day. Bye.